What's up guys, Wolf here. Welcome to my first build video in the latest patch. Year 6, Season 2 is currently live and we've got a whole bunch of new items. Also, loads of changes to weapons, brand sets, gear sets. So make sure you guys click the notification bell to stay up to date with my videos because I will be posting guides, builds, updates, tutorials on all the changes. So this is going to be my best and probably my most used build from now on, a full-on damage setup. It's going to be a little bit different to the one I previously posted because we've got some new items. So you're going to need to get the exotic assault rifle and the holster. I'll showcase how to get that shortly. But these items are unbelievably strong and really do elevate DPS in a group or playing solo. You can use this setup going playing solo legendary, solo heroic, whatever, or playing in a group in raids, missions, whatever. This is going to be your go-to damage setup. So first of all, let's take a look at the rewards track. Now, you need to buy the pass to get this item. So level 29 is going to give you Centurion Scabbard. Then level 69 is going to give you the Striga Assault Rifle, which is unbelievably good and unbelievably powerful. As you can see here, this weapon is by far the best gun, in my opinion, in the game right now for damage. That's because they've reverted it back to the phase one of the PTS. So it's very, very good. The range has been reverted. It's unbelievably powerful and you need to get it. Over one and a half million damage a shot to the body. It's very powerful. So you don't have to get this pass. You can obtain these things, I believe, through open world or trying to farm them in different ways. But the rewards track is the go-to right now to get it because it's kind of unknown exactly how to get these items to me in the open world. Maybe you go farm target to loot assault rifles and holsters. Maybe you can obtain them. Let me know. Go and try and get them. If not, I recommend if you can do it on the rewards track. So let's take a look at the setup. Now, when we look at strikers, it's still going to be, I would say, the best damage setup in the game. And I know it has had a slight nerf, but that was just to the backpack. They've actually changed it again. So the, the backpack is definitely still worth it. Now, if you're going to be using, uh, playing solo, utilizing a few blues, I would actually go for a Heartbreaker build. But I will make those setups in a different video. Striker All Red, in my opinion, is still going to be the best. So let's take a look at the setup from start to finish now. And you guys can enjoy some gameplay, top to bottom. So the gunner specialization, because I'm going to be playing solo in a group, I can change this up. It's solo, armor on kill. That's the main reason. Make sure assault rifle damage and shotgun damage is activated. Or just keep in mind whatever secondary weapon you're going to be using. This is simple. All out damage. So let's take a look at how this trigger assault rifle works. So this gun, I do like the look of it. Funny enough, some leaves fall out of it when you move around, which is quite cool. It suits the theme. It matches the theme. This gun has got a decent amount of damage but it's a talent that makes it so good so the magazine size isn't amazing but it still hits like an absolute truck and i have been comparing to like the eagle bearer from us all the different weapons the saint elmo's all of them this in my opinion is by far the best damage two targets out of cover make sure to roll it there unnerve killing an enemy will apply a mark on every enemy within 20 meters so when you see that mark it stacks up those enemies are going to, the more, the higher they're stacked, the more damage you do to them. It's huge amounts of amplified multiplicative damage. Just give it a try. Make sure you give this gun a try. Do not miss out. As I mentioned in the PTS, this gun is arguably if the best weapon in the game right now for damage. It's really powerful, especially when you look at assault rifles. Very, very easy to use and very, you know, the nice thing about it, it's not too situational because 20 meters is quite a distance and you get a lot of damage huge amounts of damage with this and you can actually scope in so let's take a look at the modifications so we've got weapon handling rounds uh how many rounds 20 rounds then we have got critical hit damage so nothing crazy and five percent crit chance so crit chance is quite hard to come by with the gun. so i've gone for the cheska chest piece with obliterate now cheska is quite necessary to get our crit chance up because every piece is rolled crit chance i need that cheska to give me extra crit chance because I'm only at 58.3%. I think I can get 59 once I optimize the holster, I believe. But Obliterate did actually receive a slight nerf, but it's still very good. You're probably thinking, why not use the striker's chest piece? 
You can do that and Striker's chest piece will give you more damage. But when you're playing like heroic missions or anywhere in a legendary way, you're not going to be able to constantly shoot something. You're going to lose the stacks. It's not going to be too beneficial. So in the setup, I've chosen to go for a universal build that might not be the highest damage on paper. There are other setups that could be higher damage, but this utility wise and efficiency is the best. So Cheska, crit chance, obliterate, easy to stack, quick to stack up, and it's still 20 percent which is really nice and it's 10 seconds which i i think is still quite good so the four piece striker including the backpack which has now gone to 0.9 percent which is actually not bad and that is a nice increase in damage so absolutely go for that you don't have to you can switch things up and use like a cheska vigilance backpack or a grupo vigilance black backpack or fenra something along those lines it's up to you but i recommend going for a setup like this Everything is going to have crit chance rolled on the attributes. And then we're going to put this absolute beauty of a holster right here, which comes with weapon handling and crit chance. So when you see this icon pop up, when the hair is see-through, that's when we're going to get the 20% rate to fire and 20% weapon damage. Ridiculous. Then 50% mag size and 50% reload speed for the solid hair when it's all white. So these remain active for 12 seconds. So swapping to your sidearm will, no, will not trigger the next group of bonuses. So how this works is quite simple. The reason why I want to demonstrate this holster because it, it can be quite strange in how it operates, but there's tricks to this. So I've decided to use a decoy with this gun, so, so, well, with this holster. So let me take a look. If you're holding this gun right here, we kind of want the damage side of it the first one with the see-through hair we want it to be on the striga so when we swap to the shotgun you can see it's got the see-through hair now there's a there's a way you can actually change it if you hold your uh decoy out there you see it changed it to the solid we go back to the striga and that's a quick little trick on how to change it back and when you throw your when you hold your decoy for some reason it changes it you can throw it as well it also changes it that could trick you up so now we've got it where we want it to be the second buff for that and the rpm weapon damage for that which is actually really nice but like i said before just be careful of it and also what happens is is sometimes you'll swap to your pistol and you can reset it you can either go to your holster take it off put it back on whilst holding the shotgun and then your first swap will be the one that gives you the damage just play around with it you do get used to it so taking a look at everything in a bit more detail so decoy active duration and health then shield uh, holstered region or active region and health then every single piece of striker is going to have critical hit chance rolled on the attribute and every single modification on this build is going to be critical hit damage simple now it's up to you what gun you're using. Check your crit chance. Don't go over uh, 60 and don't go below 54%, especially with Obliterate. Try go at least 56 generally. So that's pretty much it. The striker will stack up. We get loads of damage. And the swapping isn't as clunky as you think it is going to be because we can swap really quickly and eff effectively w using this method. So now we've, we're going we're gonna to get the damage there. So when you swap, as you can see, it refreshes. We go straight back and then once you've burned through a magazine or whatever it is, you reload, you just do that swap. Look how fast it is. That's why, you know, I was going to say, let's use a Coyote's Mask. Let's use a Grupo or a Fenris. Let's try and do something else. But look how efficiently it's changing and swapping. It, it, it refreshes the cooldown. It's not like there is a cooldown. There is no cooldown. It just keeps refreshing it, which is why I think the holster is definitely going to be the best and you can hit huge numbers now with this combination because of this holster and not only the, not only just the rpm but the weapon damage combination and rpm makes it just a must use why would you not use this holster when it's quite easy to get used to easy to use and it's always up basically so i recommend giving it a try and i think the holster is going to be arguably a, a must have in a full dps build and when you use it you'll see it's not as clunky as you think now there are other weapon uh, talents that can actually give us more damage some gear talents that when you swap you get more dps but then that becomes some situational element added to it and also the striker's backpack for this type of build is just going to give me more utility and more damage so this setup works great enjoy the gameplay guys 
Let me know in the comments down below, are you going to try it? Is this the build you are going to use? Do you have any other ideas? There are many different ways to set this build up. You don't even have to go for, um, you know, the holster or chest. You can, you can change it up. There are many different options, but hopefully you did enjoy this little guide. So here's some of these stats, 58 crit chance, crit damage isn't too high, but the weapon damage is going to be what matters and the RPM. So make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys very soon in the next one. Peace out. Thank you.